Hello everybody, our lecture today is about normal fetal ultrasound biometry. Introduction This topic covers fetal age and growth assessment for the second and third trimester between 14 and 40 weeks gestation. Fetal images demonstrate the methodology for obtaining accurate fetal measurements. First trimester. The first trimester crown rump length, CRL, is the most accurate method to determine gestational age. The CRL is defined as the longest embryo length excluding the limbs and yolk sac. It is the measurements between the top of the head to the distal sacral area. This image shows crown rump length at 11 weeks. From 13 to 14 weeks gestation and beyond. Beginning at 13 to 14 weeks gestation the biparietal diameter, the head circumference, the abdominal circumference, and femur length should be measured. Biparietal diameter and head circumference. In order to measure the BPD and HC, the transthalamic plane must be imaged. This is the same acquisition plane for the BPD and HC. Visualization of the thalami, the midline falx, and the box-like cavum septi pellucidi, CSP, are possible. The presence or absence of the CSP is the key factor in defining abnormal brain anatomy. BPD Measurements Measurement Planes 1. The BPD can be measured through any plane that crosses the third ventricle, thalami, and cavum septi pellucidi, CSP. 2. The calvaria should be smooth and symmetrical as indicated. 3. The cursor in the near field should be placed on the outer edge of the calvaria and the cursor in the far field should be placed on the inner edge as indicated. Head circumference, HC, measurement. For the HC measurement. 1. Measurement is through a plane that crosses the third ventricle, thalami, and CSP. 2. The calvaria should be smooth and symmetrical. 3. The cavum septi pellucidi, CSP, should be visible in the anterior portion of the brain. 4. Caliper placement is around the calvarial wall and should not include scalp thickness. Differentiate the cavum septi pellucidum CSP from the columns of the fornix. The CSP appears as a box-like structure in the anterior portion of the brain as demonstrated. The hyperechoic lines represent the medial walls of the lateral ventricle. The three-line structure is not the CSP and represents the columns of the fornix. The fornix represents paired nerve columns, which are located just inferior to the CSP. The transaxial view on the fornix as seen suggests that the transducer plane is just inferior to the proper plane to obtain the CSP. Note the difference between the box-like structure, the CSP and the structure with three parallel lines, which represent the columns of the fornix. Cephalic index, C. The C is an index or ratio which is used to evaluate the shape of the head. It is calculated by measuring the maximum width, BPD, of the cranium divided by its maximum length, occipital frontal diameter, OFD. The front to back, OFD is measured with a cursor placed on the outer edge to outer edge of the cranial bones as demonstrated. The following formula derives the cephalic index, C equals BPD slash OFDX100 and normal cephalic index, C, equals 78.3% 1 standard deviation, SD, equals 74% to 83% 2 standard deviations, SD equals 70% to 86%. Dolichocephaly. Dolichocephaly is defined when the AP diameter is longer than the transverse diameter and the C is less than 70%, more than 2 SD. Dolichocephaly may be seen in a number of conditions, including oligohydromnios and multiple gestations. Brassophaly. 
Bracus aphylae is defined when the transverse diameter is greater than the AP, anterior posterior, diameter in the C is more than 86%, more than 2 SD. Bracus aphylae may be seen in a number of conditions including synestosis, trisomy 21, and hydrocephalus. Abdominal circumference, AC, measurement. Correct imaging of AC. The AC measurement should be taken at the skin line on a true transverse view at the level of the junction of the umbilical vein, portal sinus, and fetal stomach. At this location, the liver size is reflected. The visualized ribs should be symmetrical. The abdomen should not be compressed during image acquisition. Note placement of cursor outside skin line. Again, ribs are symmetrical. The stomach is seen and both the umbilical vein and portal sinus are identified. Incorrect imaging of AC. Note that the portal sinus is not seen, the rib images are not symmetrical, and the stomach is not well visualized. The liver is visualized, but the portal sinus is not well defined. The rib images are not symmetrical and the stomach is not well visualized. The liver is visualized, but the umbilical vein is not seen and the portal sinus is not well defined. The kidney should not be in the field of view. The stomach is seen but not in relationship to the umbilical vein or portal sinus. Femoral length, FL, measurement. The long axis of the diaphysis of the femur is most accurately measured when the ultrasound beam of incination is perpendicular to the shaft. The cartilage at the ends of the femur should not be included in the measurement. Only the diaphysis should be measured between the epiphysis, which represents the portion of the long bone formed by the primary ossification center. Note the femoral head which is distinct from the femoral epiphysis. Humerus length, HL, measurement. The principles of HL measurement correspond to those of the femur. The incination of the ultrasound beam is best directed in a perpendicular fashion and the diaphysis alone is measured after the forearm and shoulder region are identified. Foot measurement. The fetal foot measurement is taken from the tip of the longest toe, typically the second toe, to the tip of the heel. Radius and ulna measurement. The ulna is longer than the radius. Note that it extends into the elbow, higher than the radius. The radius is on the thumb side and the ulna is on the fifth digit or a little finger side of the forearm. Again. The measurement is easier to establish when the ultrasound beam is perpendicular to the long bone. Tibia and fibula measurement. Among the bones of the lower leg, the fibula is smaller than the tibia. The tibia is longer than the fibula and the tibia originates closer to the knee compared to the fibula. Orbital measurement. The orbits in the lens of the eye can be viewed when both orbits are in a coronal or axial view and are most easily visualized when the fetal head is in a direct occiput posterior position. Binocular distance, BOD. The bond is measured from the outer edge of one orbit to the outer edge of the other orbit. These measurements may be useful in assessing certain syndromes, potential karyotype abnormalities severe growth restriction, or in assessing fetal age when other measurements are difficult to obtain. Intraocular diameter, IOD. The iod represents the outer edge to outer edge distance between the orbits. It may be measured for the same reasons that BOD is measured in when facial anomalies are suspected. This is the end of our lecture. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos.